Are higher levels of carbon dioxide as harmful as we've been led to believe? Is CO2 even a pollutant? Carbon dioxide is not a pollutant. Carbon dioxide is a nutrient, a very important nutrient, perhaps the most important. CO2 is something the plants love. They take up CO2, they use it, they give out oxygen. We take the oxygen and give out CO2. So it's hardly a pollutant at all. It's quite a naturally occurring gas that appears in our atmosphere and is very important to sustaining life on this Earth. In terms of the broad geological perspective, the carbon dioxide concentration of the atmosphere right now is low. Almost all the plants that we live with and depend upon for food evolved in an atmosphere when the CO2 was higher in the atmosphere, much higher than it is today, and higher than we could possibly get it even if we tried. Well, as a matter of fact, there were times uh, when life flourished on Earth. The uh, time when CO2 levels were something like 10 times current levels was when the dinosaurs were running around, and that was when the plant growth was so vigorous that they created all the oil and gas that we now use. It was a very fertile period of time for the Earth. When we've looked at the literature on experiments that have been done with increasing levels of carbon dioxide, what we basically find is that most plants respond the same way. More carbon dioxide gives us more biomass. So if we look at a forest, a rangeland, a marsh, a wetland, or an agricultural field, what's really happening with more CO2 is that you have more plant material produced. It's been estimated that the levels of rising level of atmospheric CO2 have enhanced global food production by ranging from 8 to 12 percent. Now this is a universally free subsidy that is increasing daily, that is available to all and to the entire earth and to all food crops and all forest crops and all range crops. Carbon dioxide also helps these crops overcome harsh growing conditions such as drought and pollution. The amount of water that's used by plants to produce the same amount of growth actually decreases with increased CO2. So a higher water use efficiency means we're using CO2 more efficiently in terms of the water requirements for the crop. This will change some of the ecosystems. It may allow some plants to grow in areas that now would be considered marginal for the growth of those plants. So we'd have more biomass production, plants in a little bit different area, and we may actually be able to farm some of the areas that would now be considered desert. Rather than a dangerous pollutant, carbon dioxide could be called a miracle gas that acts like a free fertilizer to help alleviate famine in regions of the world that have frequent droughts and famines, all without causing harm to the environment or people. Okay, research has shown that increases of CO2 concentration of two, three, four, five times would not have a detrimental effect upon the Earth's biosphere. The evidence that increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is going to cause a disaster is somewhere between slim and none. However, the evidence that it's doing a good thing by lengthening the growing season and making plants grow better is somewhere between large and overwhelming. <laughs>